Hey guys, so here I have a brand new candle of the week to review for you burning here in my room. And it's the 14.5 ounce 4 Apple Garland. So this one says, celebrate the season with an abundant blend of apples, ripe cranberries, and fresh balsam. So as you can see, hello, flawless excellence. This candle has been performing consistently like a charm all the way through. It's, it's great. So you're witnessing, of course, a third day burn, and for those of you that don't seem to get it, I burn these candles on, or I review them on a third day just to make sure that when they hit mid-range, they're all good. You never want to get a candle and review it right then and there because it's always going to be good. Um, I remember back when they had the first Fresh Picked collection, you know, the blackberry grapefruit and all that stuff. They would literally die right then and there. As soon as you lit it, it would just go to the pits. So never wanting to duplicate the first mistake you kind of just kind of let them burn and see what's see how it goes so for me i get them to mid-range and then review it so that's that all right so here we, of course it's a third day burn the wicks are not thin they're not thick they are the medium sized straw colored wicks which have been a gamble but the previous candles have been pretty good so fingers crossed for me um i lit the wick or I trimmed the wicks because they were super long, um, lit the wicks, the wax melted, pulled out and let's say about the first day maybe took about 15 minutes or so and then the throw kicked in after. So everything kind of fell together, kicked into gear and let's give it a good 30 minutes for the full effect. And the throw lingered all over my room, I could smell it, it was juicy and amazing, it was just really good. This is a juicy scent too so I'm going to say that a lot but yeah it's really good. And then I had it burning for about, let's say, um, maybe maybe two hours or so. And then second day, repeat step one, same thing, consistency, people, consistency. It's, it's great. Now we're on the third day, and look at it. It's still going. The flames are still wickedly high, and they even have mushroom tops. And as you can see on the flame on the left side, yeah, the left side, see how, like, it has that little bitty, like, black thing? It's like a ball of soot. That's what we call a mushroom top, and that always helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger, thicker, and wider. Like you can see here, they're dancing so wickedly and viciously high. I just, I love it. It looks so pretty when like the lights are off and like little ambiance going on. It's so pretty, but um, it's really good. And again, this candle's consistent. The throw's great. The burn's great. Everything is great. And it's been burning now for about let's say four hours because I just love the scent to the core. It's it's great. Now the actual set. So, you think apple garland, you think, well, maybe they've duped or they've reworked um, winter garland from a few years ago. No. This is simply Mary Mistletoe. Mary Mistletoe had notes of, help me, it was cranberries, citrus, and I want to say spruce, right? Yeah, it was spruce. This one has, again, apples, cranberries, and fresh balsam no balsam you are basically getting just this really like distinctive like citrus cranberry blend which is really good like maybe like orange lemon lime with like a really just juicy cranberry but this one has a very unique note it has like this really distinct juicy wet honey crisp apple note which i'm just loving and it's it's so good right now i'm telling you I didn't think the blend would go well as it's lit, as it would be lit, but it's it's doing its job. It's really good. So you have like juicy, delicious, wet honey crisp, or yeah, honey crisp apple. You got citrus, cranberries, not so much of like the balsam tree and all that crap, but you really do get a good like fruit blend that's holiday appropriate. It's not you know summery or anything, and it's great. I don't think it's going to make the cut to release nationwide because I think it would have released by now, but you never know. They just kind of put things out whenever they want. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I would definitely check it out. As for a repurch for myself, I wouldn't because I'm just not like blown away by it. But And I'm also trying to like scale back on the whole buy in bulk thing and we'll talk about that later. But that's it. I want to just say that and let you guys go. So thanks again for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Of course, you have to comment, rate, subscribe. That's a must. It's a plus. It's mandatory. Hello. And as always, God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.